Hey guys, so in today's video, um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fly the helicopter in GeoFest. So, the first thing you want to have is a good flight sim setup. I personally, um, at the moment, am using the uh, Logitech 3D Extreme uh, Pro joystick. Um, these are my... I can just put that at zero for now, but um, these are my my stat things, my preferences for what everything is. Um, and then, of course, I've obviously got all the normal stuff. What I would suggest you do if you don't currently have a joystick or you can't afford one is just to um go to mouse. Just use the mouse controls. It is going to save you so much time if you just use the mouse. Um, there's a few reasons. The main reason, though, is mouse control is just more precise than if you were to use keyboard control, which is a lot slower and a lot less accurate. Um, also, one big thing about the joystick that you don't get in other uh, things is in joystick, you get very precise throttle control. And that, I find, is very, very nice. Um, because it just makes things a lot more precise, like I said. Now, my joystick here is starting to get pretty old. You can see I've got yaw issues, which is so annoying. Because I can't fix it. And I'm just going to have to hold it at some weird angle the entire video. I do plan on getting into joystick soon, and I will do a review on that, so just stay tuned. Yeah, so probably the easiest part about flying a helicopter is actually the takeoff, but it still does have its challenges. Just like everything else with flying a helicopter, it's not always straightforward. Now, what you want to do is you want to slowly add throttle until you're off the ground. And once you're off the ground, you correct with your pitch and everything else. And then what I usually do is I sort of almost maintain a hover, and then slowly pitch the nose forwards. I'm not adding too much throttle, otherwise you will not be able to pitch the nose forwards for some reason. Now, once you've got the nose all in the right position, what I would suggest you do is just fly a few practice circles. And you can see my throttle, it's maybe at three-fourths. It's not all the way up. Because once it's all the way up, the helicopter gets slightly harder to control. Not because of higher speeds, because once... But um, once you're at a high level of throttle and high speed, I think around 130 knots for this helicopter at least, pitching the nose down becomes nearly impossible. Which is one of the annoying things, honestly, about helicopters in GOFS. Now, the next thing you want to learn is how to hover. And hovering is, I'm gonna say it, sort of easy. What you do is you add a bunch of throttle and pitch the nose up really high while making sure that you aren't gaining too much altitude. And then once you have that maintained hover, it might even just be a slow fly, then you start to level out the nose and everything. And then you've got a hover. And once you're actually in the hover, it's quite easy to maintain, especially if you've got some objects like another aircraft that you are flying around. And then once you're in the hover, you can test out the yaw capabilities of your aircraft. Now we're going to get into the landings. These are definitely the hardest part of any flying in a helicopter. At least that's my opinion. You may have success and love landings and think they're the easiest thing in the world. But... In my opinion, or at least from my experience, they're a bit harder. But this is where you can see the yaw comes into handy. Um, and that's why I also don't fly with the mixed yaw slash roll on. But basically, all you do for a landing is you get into a hover, like I'm doing here, and then slowly tilt the nose forward so that you fly in a slow straight line. You may have to bank to one side or another given your wind conditions. Right now, um, here in at the San Francisco helipads, I've got basically no wind. I've set it the environment like that. But then once you, what you do is you just slowly try to maneuver your helicopter over the spot you want to land at. 
And once you're there, you just slowly get a bit lower and try not to be too perfect. I know I'm trying really hard right now, but like hard landing like that, you're going to have to expect it. You might not be perfectly on the circle, but for what you have, this is, you're in the square. Like this is a 100% okay landing. Because I mean, it's a helicopter. Like what do you expect? But yeah, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching, um, and like I said, stay, stay tuned, in a month or so, I'm gonna get a new joystick, not gonna tell you guys what it is quite yet, but stay tuned for that review, and if you would, please like and subscribe, and hope to see you guys in another video. <laughs>